Hey, good afternoon everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I make my new favorite dessert. Um, I stumbled across this through experiment and I tell you, you know, I haven't had anything that tasted this good in a long time. Now, generally when I make it, I don't measure. Uh, the reason I am going to measure is that I'm going to use this as a basis for another video on nutritional analysis. Um, and believe it or not, when you do measure this and add it up, this entire bowl of joy here has only 530 calories, which for a really good dessert is kind of amazing. And if you actually split it with somebody else, not likely, um, it would only be, what, 265 calories, which is just nuts. So for this, you will need, here's the ingredients. Generally, I would just scrape some into a bowl. But since I'm going to be doing a calorie count on this, I really should measure. It doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. That's two halves. And the third half is one and a half. So there's the yogurt. And I do find Greek yogurt works better for this. Now, cherries are in season. You might ask why I'm using frozen cherries. Uh, the reason for this is it does this really cool thing when you pour them in and stir it up. The heat transfer actually causes the yogurt to freeze which is kind of neat and if I keep working at it you'll see it actually just seize right up there we go so it creates this really nice um, sort of taste texture let's let that sit for a minute yeah you can actually see the frozen little shells forming outside the cherries and if you let it sit for a few minutes more, yeah, I can't even stir this anymore, hardly. And the nice part about using frozen cherries is you can get them year-round, and you don't have to pit them. But you should still be careful chewing, because as the box says, or the package, caution, there still may be pits. Now, you can eat this as is if you can't get maple syrup, but honestly, it just sets it off so, so nice and just get yourself some and drizzle that over the top I'm trying to stir that up a bit and as you can see the yogurt has frozen around the cherries which is kinda cool so mix in the syrup a bit and that is how I make my new favorite dessert thanks for watching I hope to see you again